Okay, so to give you some backstory, a recently married couple who I know from college, Sarah and Matt, left me a message saying they had an idea for an art project. They claimed the idea was brilliant. That's a big claim. Of course, I was intrigued, so I gave them a call minutes later. And they did not disappoint. Hey, John, I had this idea. You need to make Post Malone out of Post-it notes. You know, Post-it Malone. Ladies and gentlemen, Operation Post-it Malone. All right, so let me explain the process of how this is all gonna work. I have three different colors of post-it notes. Our light tone is white. Our mid-tone is blue, kind of blue-gray, and our dark tone is black. I also have taken the liberty of gritting out the entire Post Malone on my computer. This will provide us with the information that we're going to transfer over onto the wall. There's gonna be two jobs. Evan will be making a judgment call on if a cell is light, mid-tone, or dark. The other person will be applying post-it notes to the wall. And hopefully at the end of it, we'll have something that looks like Post Malone. So let's go. This is Post Malone from Spotify. So the first thing we had to decide was which wall were we going to put Post Malone on? We chose this one. Next, I set up our control center. It took approximately 45 seconds. My roommate John did the honor of applying the first row of post-its. He may not make much art, but when it comes to putting post-it notes on a wall, this man is a literal superhero. Black. Sixth. Black. Seventh. Black. While I have the chance, I just want to say thank you all for watching. So I recently did two dry erase board drawings of Dwight True and Walter White. The next one I make will be for a subscriber. So make sure you subscribe and then comment below with something that rhymes with post. That's P-O-S-T, post. I'll put the comments in a hat and if yours is drawn, I will draw whoever you want on my whiteboard. It could be a friend, a favorite celebrity, or even you. Other than that, I hope you're having a nice day and thank you for making this video a part of it. It's yeah, definitely not white. I'm also seeing white on that. Oh wow, it's actually sort of beginning to look like it. Kind of. God damn, I forgot to shake the marinade. Evan, would you say it's black or blue? 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 The Action Boys have the black and blue album. Phenomenal album. If you were to get a tattoo on your face, what would it be? I think I would just get a Batman tattoo. Yeah, why are you wearing a Batman shirt? Because I like wearing a Batman shirt. So at the end of the day, and after a lot of hard work, it turned out kind of bad. But I wasn't about to let down the recently married couple, so I tapped my most trusted resource. So the goal here was to add more detail where necessary. The pixelated look can work, but the size of the cells were just too big for the size of the canvas. Smaller squares equals a more defined image. But of course our cell size was fixed because they're post-it notes. So in order to get the same effect, the wall had to be magnitudes bigger. If the wall is bigger, the post-its appear smaller and you get the effect of more detail. But by adding more stuff, the post-it note grid isn't so much responsible for the features of his face, but rather a cool background texture that adds shading. And not to get too deep, but Post Malone's persona isn't best depicted with rows and rows of squares. Adding tape throws messiness on top of the rigidity, and I think it better gets to the essence of what he's all about as a person and artist. It also creates an interesting contrast of orderliness and expressiveness. Anyways, let's cut to the finale. Post Malone is undisputably one of the coolest people to have ever lived. But ladies and gentlemen, today we have made something that may be as cool, if not cooler, than Post Malone. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have made Post-It Malone. Enjoy. So let me explain how this is all gonna work. Or better yet, let Evan explain. What? There's gonna be a black, there's gonna be black posted. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, that wasn't even patient. <laughs>